Hi, this is Mike from Music Ministry 101. In this video, we're going to be practicing the psalm for the fourth Sunday of Lent. I'll play and sing it for you first, and then I have a great tip for you, and then we'll do a karaoke version at the end. And as always, if you're new here, consider subscribing. sat and wept when we remembered Zion on the aspens of that land we hung up our harps let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you for there are captors asked of us of our songs, and our despoilers urged us to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. How could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palate if I remember you not. If I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy, let my tongue be silent if I ever forget you. All right. So, with this particular psalm, um, what I want to recommend to you is to phrase it. Some of us, uh, when we sing psalms, we get up to the pulpit and then we just, we just sing it. We don't really think about the phrasing or the way that we should crescendo and decrescendo to make the words come out and have more meaning. So what I like to do with this psalm is crescendo in the first measure until silenced. Growing louder. Let my tongue be silenced it makes it actually more personal sounding rather than going let my tongue be silenced let my tongue be silenced now in the second half of the verse you could go to forget you you could go if i ever forget you or you could go to if i ever if I ever forget you. It's really your choice. You could do something a little bit in between. But the first half of the phrase here, you want a crescendo in that first bar. So mark it in your score. Actually, that might be a day crescendo for you. I think it would look like this, right? Yeah, it would look like that. Crescendo. Get louder in the first measure, which means you're going to start at like a mezzo piano sound maybe, and then go up to maybe a mezzo forte. Something like that have that growth. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. All right, you want to have that shape, that phrase, because ultimately they're going to take more, the congregation is going to take more from those words if you phrase them rather than just reading them same old, same old. All right, so I hope this was very helpful for you. I have great resources available for church singers all you have to do is take the three-day workshop, which is a free online workshop. You'll get a video each day, short, like 10, 15 minutes, with some great vocal techniques. And then you can apply those techniques to what you're doing as a church singer and just become better at proclaiming the text. So to take the three-day workshop, you can start it today, right now. Go to www.musicministry101.com workshop. 
and I will see you in the three-day workshop. Now, if you've already taken it, let's do the karaoke version. Here we go. We'll do the refrain one time. All right, here we go. Don't forget to crescendo here. All right, I hope that was really, really helpful for you. If you did find that to be helpful, please like the video and consider sharing it with other cantors you might know. Even singers that might uh, not canter, but might be in your choir, they might benefit from the resource of musicministry101.com. If you just go to that homepage, you'll see a lot of great resources there, which are free. So check them out and take advantage. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in another video and have a great mass.